talk about exposure, again, I'll remind everybody, in the United States, everybody receives, just through your normal life, uh, whether you smoke cigarettes or eat bananas or have smoke detectors in your house or go get dentals or have x-rays done or sit in front of the TV too long, especially the old ones, um, you're exposed to natural radiation. We get it from the sun, we get it from the soils, we get it from the rocks. So, so there is natural, what, what, what is classified as background radiation that a body receives just through your normal life, uh, whether you smoke cigarettes or eat bananas or have smoke detectors in your house or go get dentals or have x-rays done or sit in front of the TV too long. Everybody receives just through your normal life, uh, whether you eat bananas or have some eat bananas or have smoke eat bananas you're exposed the fire that issues forth from radioactive elements cannot be extinguished it's not a fire that can be scattered or suffocated because it burns at the atomic level it comes from the disintegration of single atoms thus radioactivity is a term which indicates how many radioactive atoms are disintegrating in a time period we measure the intensity of radioactivity by the rate of disintegrations and the energy they produce one Becquerel is equal to one atomic disintegration per second. One Curie is defined as that amount of any radioactive material that will decay at a rate of 37 billion disintegrations per second. So one Curie equals 37 billion Becquerels. Sometimes these man-made radionuclides are compared to naturally occurring radionuclides, such as potassium-40, which is always found in bananas and other fruits. However, this is a false comparison since naturally occurring radioactive elements are very weakly radioactive. In the charts from the labs that are in green up there, the radioactivity is described as a specific activity. Note that potassium-40 has a specific activity of 71 10 millionths of a curie per gram. Compare that to the 88 curies per gram for cesium-137. It's like comparing a stick of dynamite to an atomic bomb. Highly radioactive fission products such as cesium-137 and strontium-90 emit 10 to 20 million times more radiation per unit volume than does potassium-40. So which one of these would you rather have in your bananas? People running around saying, Fukushima is the equivalent of eating a banana. We've seen that in this, this ridiculous movie, Pandora's Promise. It's the equivalent of eating banana. It's like flying from New York to Los Angeles. It's like living in Denver. It's utter nonsense. Radiation kills people, many, many, many people.